Okay, so basically what I'm doing here right now is that I'm gonna be cutting this And I just cut this piece of plywood down to 33 and a half inches. Then I'm gonna rip it to nine and five eighths. Like I said, I'll tell you, I'll show it to you why these are gonna be ripped down, even though they're a face, really and truly they're a face for the cabinet. And the cabinet is made out of not plywood, heavy wood. So, I'll, like I said, I explained to you so you will have a good understanding that you actually can see why I actually is cutting this plywood. I call it a facing for the cabinet. What I'm using is my skill saw, my um, jigsaw. Because what I'm going to be doing now is ripping it. This is going to make the face for the drawers. Of course, it's actually this leg, 31. And I'm going to router here down and give it some kind of profile. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. Because really and truly, let's imagine that this is the face for the drawers already made. And this is going to go on. So I'm going to be able to router all around here just to give it a look because this is where the handles are going to be going so you can pull the drawer in and out. It will be screwing for the back in the existing drawers. And the drawers, you'll see when I show it to you, it will make a lot more intelligence because they are the customer's house. So all I'm really doing is getting this then I'll start sanding them down with 200 grit very smooth sand paper and I'll put the router on it I hope I have the right kind of base to give me a good profile otherwise I'll just sand it on a bevel this one here I'm going to be cutting to this size the drawers they sell is 33 inches the, the width of the where the drawers are going to be open to open is 33. This is 33 and a half. The reason why I said that 33 and a half is simply that when I put the drawers in, I want to have a quarter overlapping each side of the drawer. In that way, it will be able to make exactly what I wanted work. 
because the open I said is really 33 but the drawers itself is 32 and a half so I want to set them that when I put the drawers in usually drawers are met like a square where they met like that flat but you don't want but because of the way the kind of hinges I'll show it to you the hardware I use on the drawers they're going to be at the back of the drawers and they're about three eighths almost half inch thick a good three eighths so I have to take three eighths away from each side which is really a five eighths so when I actually put the drawer into the push the drawer into the drawer it's going to have a space that really holds the hinges like this this is the structure and this is the drawers and there's a hinge right in the middle that holds well not a hinge uh, the hardware to pull the drawer out in and out that is half that's about three eighths here and three eighths here so i had to take off a good half inch approximately so when i then what this board is going to do this plywood since i have this space here i know i'm not going to be able to fully directly because i don't want to have the drawers meeting like this a hundred percent I like to give it a little profile where it is meeting just by a half, half inch and half inch, I call it a quarter. So a quarter reveal is going to be here. I know you, you're still going to, you're not going to see the space because it's going to be on to this existing part that runs down. But remember this is a draw and this is actually this part that runs right down to make the face of where the drawers fit into. So you can have this little profile recess like this. That's the draw ended. This is the main structure. And this is going to be this face that is on to the draw, screwed on, and give a profile in order to hide this mark, this amount that was really 33. But since I make the draw two and a half, 32 and a half, it would be 32 and a half, would be too short. But I'll make it 33 and a quarter, so I'll push it like right in an area that it would be a profile like this as opposed to be like this you'll see what i'm talking about when i actually put this on front i'll just give you a little heads up